Hello, it's Blunty, and I figured I would do a short little video here, I don't think it's going to be very long, uh, where I chime in and show you some of my catches on the new map. Uh, just in time for me to show you a Dink's Leather, which is one of the best catches I've had here. Um, but we are at 5660, pop quickly becoming a very popular spot. I'm at clip 11 with my new rod pod and my chair, uh, straight out from the dock, maybe a little to the left. Um, I've been here about three hours so far, you know, so far I've on this map, I'll say it seems like you filter out all the other carp and you sort of can't catch them anymore or something, <laughs> or you catch them much more rarely. And then you start getting into the rares so that it takes longer, but it's like, it's almost like these are the new opportunity to catch, you know what I mean? Or something like that. You could see how many I've gotten, or you just go on streaks. Maybe it's just streaks that happen. But as you can see, in the last 30 minutes, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rares. Um, and previously to this, we've only had a few. But we have seen the Orenji, the C2 Super Freak, the Kohaku. Um, we've got the Mama Shibori. Um, yeah, and the Dink's Leather. We've gotten a lot of the rares here. I think we're only missing the high Itsuri. And maybe one more. We've got some F1s coming out here, though not too many couple we got the c2 super freak here great selection from the spot um, we are fishing on banana flavor yellow banana strike um, and this basically both banana feed pellets banana flavoring cornflower banana 14 and 20 pop-up crush um, unfortunately you're not going to be able to find banana strike dip in stock um, i think if i wasn't burning the spot out i would try another dip um, just to see but yeah, I've got corn on one, and I've got 14 pop-up corn on the other, and I've got cream, cream on the last one. Um, as far as which do and what, the cream, cream actually caught the Dinks leather, which has been my experience with Dinks. I've got a bunch of Dinks mirrors yesterday on that setup. Um, otherwise, the cream has not been doing amazing. Oh, it actually did. It got that 9 kilogram orangey as well. So I think there's a lot of room for cream here. Cream flavor white. Yeah, honestly... Maybe that's why I caught so many rares in this, because I switched that one to cream. It is why. Consider my experience yesterday and today. I would probably just not do banana, since the banana strike dip is out anyway. And I would probably switch to cream. And I would maybe even go to cream boilies, um, like a cream 14 or something. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Maybe even cream pellets. I think there's a cream pellet. Uh, cocoa was working well. I know the cocoa dips are running out as well. So maybe not. Um, if, again, if I wasn't burning out the spot, I would probably switch everything to cream. I may do that anyway, uh, just to catch out all these rares. So, um, yeah. I'll let you know what I'm leaving, and we'll look at Silver Maid, which is not great, except for that last burst that we had there, which is probably a good 400, 500 silver, I would guess. So, so we switched um, the other two from banana to green corn. Um, so they're all three on cream flavor, white and cream dip. And I'm switching to cream PVA though. I think I have some banana cream PVA on the others. Um, this will be our third fish. No, fourth specific. Yeah. Kahaku. So we're in the tench now. We've had a undersized orangey. We've had a Kahaku. Um, and yeah, this common was before we switched. So, so far, yeah, two tench, orangey, kahaku, still looking good on the cream. Um, definitely slower bite rate, though, again, I've been here for three hours, so your mileage may vary. All right, we have burned out the spot, I think. Um... We're at 344, and we really haven't caught much for the last while here. We did switch again to cream. Uh, I suspect it's not just because of cream, but uh, it is possible that banana would still be popping. Again, there's no dip in the store anyway, so it's not like uh, we could keep rolling with it too long, though I do think I still have enough dip to do a while uh, fishing if we really need to. Yeah, I still have 72 banana strike. Um Let's see what we made. I think it's not going to be great. Yeah, a thousand in four hours is not, you know, 250 an hour. Not amazing. Not terrible. Not amazing. 
Um, obviously, you're not going to make this on the trip because you're not using boilies. But if you could get anywhere close to this on the trip, I think that would be fine. You know, the silver is 300 silver for the trip. And you're getting free bottom experience, getting to use a better setup, catch all these uh, carp in a different area. The, you know, a lot of them are going to be mirror carp. Um, okay, let's check the cafes. I think I already burned the, yeah, the common cafe. Here's another mirror. So these are nice too. Um, I can't complain too much. You know, 25 silver, 20 silver. It's not a ton, but it does add up when you're doing this random fishing. I'm hoping that we're going to see some of the koi species pop in here, but uh, knowing RF4, that probably actually won't happen. Um, but at least the tench shows up there, that new tench. Um, okay. Thanks for hanging out. This has been Is Blunty, and I hope you're having fun on the new map. If you're not, uh, hey, that's okay. The whole rest of the game is still there, and nothing has changed. So you can still play the rest of RF4 uh, that you've been playing anyway.